tell me about how you met Joachim and how you've developed yeah. this incredible mm. rapport and friendship. Yeah. Well, as soon as I, th it was a based on a novella by a guy called Jonathan Ames, who mm. did this cool TV series called Bored to, Bored to Death in New York, about a writer who's a detective. Mm. And he's quite into hard-boiled kind of stuff, and I like those kind of things. I like I used to I grew up with him. I like Mildred Pierce and all about Eve, and those kind of, mm. and a you know, was that brilliant Barbara Stanwyck one? I can't even remember. But it, but anyway, I just was, I was quite fascinated to do a sort of genre hard-boiled kind of thing. And as soon as I, but as soon as I read it, I thought, oh god, it's got to be a really interesting character. So. Um, because this man was quite a flawed man and he wasn't like your James Bond kind of hero and stuff. And so that, you know, I was like whacking Phoenix and I just put a picture on my computer and it just stayed there the whole time. And until I had a kind of decent script, which I, I wrote while I was pregnant actually. And, uh, and then, um, you know, luckily I have a friend that used to work for Film 4 and um, he knew Joaquin through Buffalo Soldiers. So we just, we just, he just put me in touch via email and I'm like, would you read this script, you know? And he said, I'm too busy, I've got loads of things on this year. And I'm like, then he said, I've got a window. And I was like, okay, I'm taking the window. But it meant I had hardly any prep. And then we just got to know each other. And we, I don't know, it was like, the, you know, I've worked with some great people, John C. Riley, Tilda Swinton, Ezra Miller's amazing, uh, Samantha Morton, like brilliant actors. But I just felt knocked out by him, actually, you know? I was like super impressed and I felt that, what he did to add to that character was just incredible and it really made this movie, you know. Just yeah. super impressed with him as a, as a great actor, but also oh, as a person. Oh, he's a brilliant actor, but he's also, f he's a funny, lovely, normal, you know, lovely person, you know, and so you can't help feel, you know, you, you know, like fond of him, you know, he's like, there's no, I don't know, I don't, you know, he's, they're rock and roll star, you know, I mean, he's like, he just he loves what he does, but he doesn't like all the pomp and circumstance, and that's fa fair enough, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice to yeah, see. Yeah. Is it true that on the uh, first day of the shoot, you got in the pool with him? Into yeah. Into a pool with him. <laughs> to, what, what made you decide to do that? I think, it, well, we are shooting in this Russian bath, and it was at night. It was boiling hot outside. The whole place was boiling hot, to be honest, and everyone was feeling faint and weird. Um, so we're in the steam room, but the, they have the cold pool as well. And um, so he got into the pool and he just looked like, you know, it was like, ah, and I was like, and I just thought, how cold is that pool? So I just thought, you know, because I was wondering, I was like, is it that bad? And then, so sometimes I suppose I just try and put myself in the position of the actors to see how bad it was. And it was, it was bloody freezing. It was like a nice cold bath. But you felt brilliant afterwards because of all the heat and all that outside. I was like, I felt, you know, brilliant. But I walked in with, all, like, you know, my sandals on. I was like, okay, I'll try it out, you know. And, and I think after that was when we kind of bonded, I think, you know, yeah. And the whole thing was um, a real collaboration, I think, yeah, as well, that yeah. he would offer his opinion and you'd both, yeah, yeah, you'd both try everything yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we didn't know what we were doing, but we're like, let's try and do it a different way. Let's try, and, what would it what would be to turn this around in its head and... I just really enjoyed it. I, I, I found it really creative working with them. Yeah. You were talking about making a genre film, mm. but also you've you've turned the genre in that we are, as I, as I read in one review this morning, I thought it was very well put, we're yeah. far more interested in the man than the hit, yeah. even though it's about yeah. a hit man. So really yeah. it was a character study for you yeah. as well. Yeah, I think that, well, that's a really nice thing for someone to say because uh, that makes me feel happy because, yeah, it was a character study. That's what it became in the end. It went beyond what it was, you know what I mean, and I don't know if it would have with anyone else, you know what I mean, um, I mean, so, I, you know, there's some people, you know, I, I don't know, I've just worked with so, such great people, but he was, he was that character, yeah, you know, and, I, you know, it was just astonishing to see it come to life, you know. And was part of your point when the, the writing and the adapting of the, the, the original book? Like, it was know, only like 10 pages long or something. Yeah, so the, the yeah. short story, rather, to, yeah, to be honest. Short, with you. short stories yeah. can be really good, actually, to, because it gives you room to flesh it out. I mean, Kevin was like a 550 page novel or something, or four, it was like that. So that was like boiling it down, and that was difficult because there's a lot of good stuff in that. This was more. Like room to go, you know, different places. Um, so there were two really different processes in a way. And it's, yeah. but it's, it was part of your point that Joe can't get to the place where he's at without yeah. an awful lot of damage done to him. I 
once you saw it as a really flawed character, like a fairly, he's a failed man, he actually is like, he's the hero character who never actually does the job, you know, and it's actually the little girl at the end, it's like, you know, in a way, like, does the job, and, uh, and then, but she, she sort of brings him back to life. I saw it as a sort of Lazarus thing, I think, you know, this really depressed, middle-aged, you know, scarred up guy um, who would rather kill himself coming back to life through this crazy shit that's happened to him, you know, so sorry. That's, uh, a, that's, a, that's yeah, absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, would you like to work together in the future? Oh, definitely. I'd love to do comedy, actually, with him, you know, I really would, you know, because he's a natural comedian, really, you know. Even though people think, oh, Joaquin's intense and all that, he's, he's the funniest guy I've met, you know, and, and you know, uh, I really like Casey Affleck as well, who, you, you know, I've met the two of them are friends as well, so, uh, yeah, no, definitely, you know, if you'll work with me. <laughs> um, one more question, the deliberate um, paring yeah. down of the film to 85 yeah. minutes yeah, as yeah. well, you just wanted to tell, yeah. um, even though it was a character study, you mm. just believe that you could you could just do that in, 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 yeah. the, in that under an hour and a half? Well, I think those kind of movies, the ones that were those kind of type of movies, and this is a bit of maybe a, you know, it's, a modern version of that where I, I mean I quite like short movies I don't like too much excess on something mm -hmm. Kevin was only 95 minutes or something I don't remember but every single one of my scripts has turned out the exact same with the page count you know so uh, I don't know I just like economy rather than you know to bore people you know and, and it's, it's quite an intense film anyway and it's like you know, we, we never had a cut longer than 90 minutes or 95 minutes since the assembly, yeah, so that's pretty mental, you know. God, you're a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute dream. Thank you, Linda. Well, thanks that's, so that's much. That's really great because... Mama here. The clearest said you were brutal. I can be. Nina. Her name is Nina. Senator, if she's there, I'll get her. Where are you going? Taking home your dad. Jump! And I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Close your eyes. It's a beautiful day.